The holidays are a time to feel and create joy. And what could be more joyous than the look on her face as she unwraps a stunning new jewelry piece from Blue Nile? How about getting 50% off your purchase? Blue Nile offers premium quality, priced below traditional retail. Their online experts are available 24-7 to answer any questions and make sure you've picked the perfect gift. For a limited time, you can get 50% off at BlueNile.com. That's 50% off at BlueNile.com. Well, well, well. Shopping for a car? Yep. Carvana made financing a car as smooth as can be. Oh, yeah? I got pre-qualified instantly and had real terms personalized just for me. Hmm, doesn't get much smoother than that. Well, I got to browse thousands of car options on Carvana, all within my budget. Doesn't get much smoother than that. It does. I actually wanted a car that seemed out of my range, but I was able to add a cosigner and found my dream car. It doesn't get much... Oh, it gets smoother. It's getting delivered tomorrow. Visit Carvana.com or download the app to get pre-qualified today. Tired of ads crashing your comedy podcast party? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Just head to Amazon.com slash ad-free comedy to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads. Previously on Roll Britannia. I am 479 years old, young man. How old are you? I'm 50, 15. Roll deception check. Oh, Jack. Just all those sort of seashells, those little bottles with different colour sand in. There's a sort of, a small sort of orb type thing with a weird engraving on it. That's sort sitting there. Interesting looking berries. There's a shiny looking sort of stone with an odd marking on it. There's Jack. a few. Are you a 15 year old kid or is that about to? Roll deception. <laughs> 20, natural 20. All right, kid, I believe you. Scurry away. I mean, you see a small sort of roundish object that's got a bit of a, a, bit of a glint to it. Uh, OK, guys, let's all go see the governor. What if his prime directive is just to take anyone he meets to the prison? From the desk pulls a strange-looking star. Point that elsewhere. And a portal opens underneath no. Malrus. No. no! A dark stone room with a small barred window. I'm Malrus. My name's Z. You're in the gated community. As you turn around to look at Balon, you see two blunderbusses pointed at you. <laughs> Punch him in the face. Now, eliminate the spares. I am going to shoot Banger. Okay. Uh, causing surface damage. I'm going to try and rip his arms off because bullets aren't going to do anything. And yes. he's just sort of shrugged you aside. He'll be looking around <laughs> going, we're fucked. I might as well accept this fate. I'm going to go and eat the good berries to try and get as much health as possible, sit in the corner and rock. All caught up. Good. Let's get back to the action. Up next is Derek. We're back around to the top of the order. Uh, how? I think I may have asked this question before. But how big is the room in it? Like in its entirety? Big. About sixty feet end. long, isn't it? Because it's thirty feet. Basically, how end. far is? If I'm by the okay, if I'm by the desk, yeah, how? Probably far about sixty feet on the on the long end, and probably only about thirty or forty across. It's a okay. big room. Um, he has a big office for a governor. This governor. That's because he's the governor. governor. Um, is <laughs> he? What's he look like? Is he thin? Is he like? Does he look weak or does he look strong? Or... I can describe the governor in great detail to you. Yes, please. Uh, the governor is. Um, he looks like a sort of. A, he looks like a chap who uh, has looked after himself to an extent, but in recent years has uh, put on. Uh, what the rest of us have put on during lockdown. <laughs> you can tell he's relatively muscular, but uh, 
somewhat chubbier than he was anticipating being. You tell that because he's wearing sort of nicely fitting chinos and a, uh, a cotton jumper, all of which would uh, suggest he, you know, in in a, in a style that would suit someone of a fine figure, but they're mm. just ever so slightly too tight now. Um, you can see that the, the jumper is slightly stretched around the uh, the waist and the the buttons on his chinos are uh, slightly slightly straining and they've had to he's you can see they've added an extra belt loop to uh, to his belt uh the uh, the brown loafers that are that he's wearing are stylish but worn uh, and he's got a really relatively simple simple sort of masculine haircut of uh, slightly slightly spiked brownish hair so how old is he? You would suspect somewhere in uh, his early early 40s. And did he have a happy childhood? <laughs> <laughs> um, Roll perception. Okay. <laughs> plotting, plotting this, uh, next move, delaying, plotting. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this desk, does it have like a front panel to it or is it just like a... A modesty you know? panel? Yeah, basically. What they fitted for FD? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, um, it does. Yeah, it has a cool. modesty panel. Um, I'm going to shout over to Keth. Is your turn after mine, Keth? Uh, yes. Then it's okay. Jeff. I'm going to shout over to you. Um, uh, drop the smoke bomb. In Bill. Drop Ooh. the smoke bomb immediately. And then I'm, I would like to delay my turn till after Keth. Ooh. Okay. Special move from Derek. Let's move that up then. Keth, your go. It's all on you, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, what did you say? I ain't touching this with a <laughs> misheard a barge pole. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Cool. You I'm done with that. I'm bomb. gonna drop fog cloud, and then. Okay. Do you, do the, you do that? I do that. What do you need to do? Uh, I I simply perform it. Um. Perform, so before, I perform the fog cloud, so that means then 20 feet all around, up, down, and around is a sphere of fog, and it lasts for an hour as well. Oh, very foggy. It does. It does last for an hour. The governor's asthmatic. I mean, it's smaller than the room, but yeah. <laughs> but no one knows where I am. Start moving furniture and kicking up dust. <laughs> or where Balon is. And Balon can't see us. So yeah, I'm, it's just me and Balon in the fog cloud. Have you seen Terminator Yeah, it's two? just you two, isn't it? Yeah, so we're in the fog cloud, but Balon can't see the governor. Or Derek. That, that's very useful. Or Jeff, the okay. me, the asylum patient, it seems now. <laughs> strapping himself <laughs> into, into a straight jacket. I feel like I've been downgraded from Bomber in your eyes here, Kath. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff the bomber to Jeff the asylum patient is a it's not a great step in the right direction in my view. <laughs> but, it's time ah. to step up, boy. Oh. Okay. So you've made it so I can't see before I step up. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Uh, that see. makes it Derek's go again then. Um I would like to oh, yeah. jump over the desk and or basically yep. I want to get to the governor and grapple him with my hand axe to his throat. Um, is the room filled with I guess smoke? that's a no an unarmed it's just a it's just like a 20 foot but, right, um, okay. uh, an, an, yeah uh, well I'm using my for a hand grapple it's an unarmed grapple. it'd be uh, athletics maybe even though mm. my athletics isn't that good maybe an unarmed well you do athletics and I'll idea. contest it with strength okay sure um, or I could just do strength I mean it's the same same one right yep go for it uh, that is a big old 12. <laughs> it's a big old nat 20 over here. Oh, Fair God. enough. <laughs> like, that was necessary. Fair, fair enough. Um, That's the best roll I've done in days. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so what I'm happens? really happy for you, James. The You jump, you hurdle the desk and try to uh, throw yourself at the governor and uh, you hit him at about waist height but the uh, the governor sort of just twists and shouts uh, <laughs> yes. as you uh, as you lunge towards him and uh, unfortunately you sort of just ever so slightly skim past him and uh, land well effectively behind him so a good place to be fair enough um as a 
Uh, I assume that's my action, right? Or would that be my bonus action? Yeah, that's your action. Okay, as a free action, I'd like to shout to um, Keth uh, uh, and Jeff. I'd like to, and Balon. Uh, I'd like to shout. Um, forget the plan about not killing him, Balon. Leave here, or he dies. I've got him hostage. <laughs> <laughs> Which I believe Ooh, he I does know live a hostage. What two bang words on. James is about to utter because <laughs> he utters them to me all the time. Roll persuasion. What? Persu- <laughs> what? That would not be a deception check. Yeah, roll deception. Thank you. Well, yeah, roll deception. Because, because, after all this time, um, I could have used persuasion or in or because, something like that. <laughs> yeah, because I have a um, because I have a uh, an expertise. The reason I asked is because I've got expertise in deception, which gives me a uh, plus I know you do. eight total to the roll. You've got expertise in deception. <laughs> yep, and theme stalls. Mm. I've got plus eight. Why the eight fuck total have I been role. doing all the talking then? Because you wanted to. <laughs> oh, that's it's true. Not like give you a world. Give it, Give me a world. <laughs> uh, that's creepy. It's not my birthday. Go on, what did you roll? I'm gonna give that boy a world. <sighs> what did you roll there? Come on. Total. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-four. Balon Partry uh, responds to your lie by saying, Well, that's very interesting, my friend. I can't wait to see the results of that action. To be honest with you, why don't you go ahead and lop his head off? It's a beautiful day outside, and frankly, losing the weight could do everyone some good. Oh, Beep. fuck. <laughs> oh, One God. sentence. He's murderous, and he's... Kicking his self esteem. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Might as well call him Muffin um, Top. Uh, okay. Um, uh, uh, because I've I've done a lot this turn, um, I, w- uh, I would like to turn to the governor and go, see, he doesn't care whether you live or die. I guess, you know, we're on the same side now. Must be. Uh, and I would like to use my bonus action to disengage from him and move away. <laughs> <laughs> like the five feet or whatever I've got left. <laughs> Yeah, 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 do it. Yeah, it's fine. Do you do that. <laughs> you know, why do you want to work for such a man who doesn't doesn't care about <laughs> you and also insulted you? You look quite a healthy, fine figure of a bloke. Nice shoes, by the way. <laughs> it's more cushion for the pushing, I've heard. Okay, it's the governor's turn next, and since you're the only one he can see, he's well, that's not true. I suppose you can see uh Jeff as well, but you what? did just I'm try and tackle him, down. so but I'm I also in the corner of that. Either shoes. way, he's going to uh, he's going to take aim at uh, he's going to take aim at Derek. Well, that's fine then. Ooh, okay. I mean, with the well, stuff, he yells out. He says, "I've got no choice," and rolls a twenty-five cool. to hit. Um, you'd the be fuck? unsurprised to hear that that does hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought he might. <laughs> yeah. Strange. Okay, so that's one of these. Was that one? That one? Yep. Mm-mm-mm. Oh god, it's payback. And we're going to use some ten episodes to do points. Bloody Island, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's going to hit you for 18 points of damage Whoa. from a huge firebolt. Holy shit. Are you dead? He raises that... the staff and blasts you with an immense fiery S- bolt. That leaves me on seven health. Eat those good berries. That would have killed me. Yeah. Eat those yeah. blueberries. Yeah. <laughs> if, he'd genuine, if he'd selected me, I would be doing death save rolls right now. Oh, man. Oh, God. So, I can't be hit, really. Get out of that yeah. corner if he's rolling and, and do something like useful. <laughs> what? Do you the one that the took force. down a kraken. You took out the kraken. my go? Think laterally. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next up go, right? is... Jeff. Where does Bill come in? Oh, yeah, isn't it Bill first? Last. There. Oh. No. Oh, sound. I won. I beat Bill. Not, not. You did, but he is a snake, so... You I beat so. a tiny beast. <laughs> well, that is what Never he beats is. tiny beasts. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Come on. Right, okay, right, okay. Um, I am going to stand up and move the 30 feet towards, um, Balon. Okay. Who I mean, you can't is... see him, but go for it. Yep. So I'm moving towards Balon 
out of the smoke and I then probably can see him because I'm moving 30 feet towards him. He's in the smoke. No, the, the smoke is in, but he's around Balon. Yeah, because Keth is basically stood next to Balon. Yeah. Oh, feck. Hoping that Balon doesn't um, have I wouldn't move imaging. towards him then. I would move towards the person I can see. So that'd Which be the governor then. The governor. Yeah. Yeah, so okay, yep. I'll move towards... Okay, I'm going to go towards the governor and I'm going to... As Derek sort of kind of not grappling him but moving away, um, I would like to put my Shades of Horatio Kane onto the governor. Okay. Um... I feel like that's going to be a sleight of hand check. Jeff, this is what you can do. How? Okay, so... 18. <laughs> well, wait, <laughs> sleight of hand plus sleight of hand, which is... Is that... Oh, plus one. 19. That's such a baller move. I guess. Yeah? I guess, okay. yeah. I, okay, so the shades yeah. on his you eyes... As I put him on his eyes, I'm pressing the button, which means that the target is blinded in all respects. He can see in magical darkness for a minute, but he's now blind. <laughs> Oh, that is <laughs> okay. That the governor screams out. This is move. why you're on the time. team, <laughs> Jeff. This is what you can do. And he and he shouts, "The fuck! I'm blind." <laughs> Both are blind now. I'm gonna in my final action. I would like or my final move. I would like to hide, duck behind the desk in case Balon decides to fire blindly towards the governor. I'm hidden behind a desk. Can I? Okay. Do that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so. sure. Uh, Bill Snakespear's turn. Right. And I don't want to get fucked up by Bill <laughs> in the smoke or in the madness. Bill's only got. Is one. the governor still wearing the shades? By the way, or did you just whip them back off again? No, no. I have. I put them on and hit the button, and that was it. And then duck behind the desk. It was a sort of like baller. Whip them off, bang them onto him, click the button, and duck behind the desk. All in one go. He's now blind. Yeah, but is it, but are they still wearing. on his face? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I had to. I had to leave them there. I couldn't. I didn't have the time to do it. So in all honesty, yeah, okay. I'm still wearing my shades. It annoys me, but... You're very cavalier with your stuff, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it annoys uh, me. It's more a case of emergency things. strikes, and I would rather value my own life over material goods. Okay, Bill Snakespear. Bill Snakespear now only has one target because he can't see into the fog cloud. He doesn't know where Balon is. Um, I don't even go in for the governor, so I'm going to defer... Defer Bill's go and go on to the next one. He's gonna still he's gonna be satelliting. Bill's last, so there isn't if you if you will just skip his go entirely. Oh but I don't want you to drop him later governor. in the order if he wanted. No, he's last in the order, so the order. it will just be Oh yeah, yeah, of course. You can you can go earlier next time around, but you will have missed a go. But he's got no one to bite. He could just bite the gov I I know. It could just bite the governor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go and bite the governor. <laughs> okay. You've tempted me just to, just to warn the governor. And I'm going to say that he has advantage to hit because the governor is now blind. Thank God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> a four or a six. So a six. <laughs> no, no, no. Neither of those hit, my friend. I can't oh, help you with that. Bill. God's sake. <laughs> Stupid snake. So Bill Snakespear just goes whistling past the governor's head and uh, swoops past the window and up into the rafters again somewhere. <laughs> just up in the curtains. And there. that makes it your turn, Kev. <laughs> right. So I am now in the fog. I can't see anything. I can't see Balon. I can't see out of it. So I'm now going to... No, I feel like you were immediately next to him, though. So, I mean, mm. there's always that. I am going to try and grapple with Balon so I rip his arm off again. <laughs> okay. Because I'll rip a um, blunderbuss out of his I guess as well. Roll to, hit, roll to hit at disadvantage. Disadvantage? Because I can't see. Well, you can't see him, so you are just taking a guess at where he is. <laughs> just, just, just bear hugging. Okay, first one yeah. was fifteen. Second one was eighteen. All right, uh, and then let's so have a look. So see. That's a fifteen with my modifiers. So you managed to get hold of him. Okay, right. So now it's a strength off. Sure is. James, please put some dramatic music over the top of this because this will be the f uh, the second time Keth has like properly attempted this strength, <laughs> and now there's some real stakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so okay, uh, so let's... we need some like 
Let's um, roll some strength then. Oh, the f- your face does not tell me that is a good <laughs> It doesn't roll. sell it, does it? <laughs> no. I, at this point, there's a record scratch. What's the roll? I think my face says it all. Is it, is it one? one? It's a critical fail. I rip my oh, arms off in time. No, not at this moment. We <laughs> cannot afford them. At least it wasn't me. Ah, oh, man, your your move was amazing. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> I'm going to say yes. You do hit him. The problem is you totally misjudged the distance it is to Balon from from you. And although you what it yes, you do manage to tackle him, mm. you fully face plant into his robotic body. Oh god. And you take oh. Welcome to the world of bludgeoning damage on oh, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take some embarrassment points. 5 bludgeoning damage. Oh god. <laughs> Can I trade that for ten embarrassment points? And bloody your nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you take you take embarrassment points, but not as many because no one else can see you. You only take one embarrassment point. It's just you. Private Thank God no one saw that. <laughs> just Balon smirking at him from down. His head caressing Balon's chest. Oh God. Does my face bludgeon him really, at all? Really, really, really aggressive hug. Uh, does your face <laughs> yeah. bludgeon him? No. No. <laughs> Not with the one. You do leave a, a Keth-shaped print on his shirt. <laughs> just, oh. just Keth's face like... <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, okay, Derek. He's still got the shades on, right? He is He's blind. blind. Uh, yes. He's blind. He's blind and wearing uh, Jeff's shades. Uh, Okay. So he's blind, but he looks cool doing it. Does that mean I would get advantage on an attack against him? Sure. If he's blind. Uh, you would get an advantage, yeah, because he's blind. Wicked. That Steal means his that. Staff. Uh, and also, and also, one of the um, stuff, yeah. Steal one of the prereq- prerequisites. Oh yeah, I could steal his stuff. I was going to say oh, one God, of the prerequisites for uh, sneak stuff. attack is that uh, I'm unseen. Steal. So if he's blind, I technically am. Um, yeah, that's a good, stuff. good Steal idea. The stuff. <laughs> I wonder what I should do <laughs> if only. If only there was some sort of clue. <laughs> uh, I would like to use my bonus action. No, I'm not going to do that yet. I would like to um, steal the damn staff, steal the Derek. Staff. <laughs> I would like to <laughs> steal it already. To, ste- to wrench the staff out of his hands and steal his staff. Okay, yeah. I mean that's, there will be a strength contest, but yeah. No. How? What? Which hand? No. Which hand is he holding the staff with? Um. His right. His right. Uh, I want to. I want to make an attack with my hand axe uh, at advantage to cut his hand off. His right hand. <laughs> oh, baller move! Okay, roll to hit. Move. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it would because include sneak attack damage Keth. because it's Derek. There's the Derek factor, isn't there? Roll to hit. We are pulling out all of our factors right now. I'm lads. sorry. Blam blows his compatriot's head off. That'd be a seventeen. Keth, we need a ranger factor here. I feel like Snake Spear is going to have to do something spectacular next. Yeah. Seventeen hits. Snake roll damage. Spear. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's a d six. Uh, that would be uh, eight points of damage plus my sneak attack, uh, which is another d six. Or is it two? Uh, I think it's another d six. Yeah. Um, it is. Uh, which is, uh, what's that, 8 plus 6 is what, 12? 14. No, 14. 12? 14, yeah. 14. 14, 14, 14, 14. 14. Quick maths. I mean, that's that's a good 20-odd 20, 20 percent of his health, so I'm going to go ahead and say that, that probably equates to a hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, so, on, with the sound yeah. of splintering bone and tearing sinew, oh, your Christ. axe rips through him at the wrist <laughs> and uh, severs his hand from the rest of his arm, and Good the staff man, goes clattering Derek. to the ground with a slightly squelchy sound as the hand falls as two. I turn to him and I go, "There's always a choice, my friend." Uh, he goes. He doesn't hear you. He's screaming in pain. Then I use my bonus action uh, to... Uh, no, I'm just going to stay there. Oh, well, no, I use my bonus action to disengage and move away from him, actually. That's well, that was handy. So you're just knocking it to the ground. Okay. That was yeah, really handy. You're literally just knocking the staff to the ground. Uh, no, I'll grab it. I'll grab it and run. <laughs> I'll grab it and move away. Yeah, take you're going to grab it. Please take it. I can, okay. I can use... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll grab it. Okay, roll a constitution saving throw, please. 
Will do. Ooh. I only have seven HP, remember, guys. Oh, Beck. Uh, constitution saving throw. He's oh. blind. He's fine. Yes, please. Get out of the dodge. That Get is... out of the dodge. That is a six. That's not going to do it. Didn't think so. Um, how how wide did I say the room was? Thirty to forty feet. So we'll say thirty-five. Meet me halfway. As you reach down and grab this staff, you feel something strange. You feel a surge of energy and staff in hand, rigid. You are fired across the room and you crash into... You need a pink marigold. You crash yeah. into the wall, still clutching the staff and oh, God. you take six bludgeoning damage and you are knocked unconscious. Oh, okay, yeah, I have one HP left. Oh, Fuck. Derek! What happened? Because I'm stood right next to the governor, aren't I? I've just literally just ducked down by a desk and watched Derek just get fired across the room after slicing his hand off. Yeah, I mean, you got showered in blood as Derek chopped his hand Use off. Use some spray. And then watched <laughs> him get blown across the room. And then he picked up the staff and flew backwards across the room. Yeah. Derek! I'm unconscious, I can't say anything. <laughs> Always wrap it before you grab it. <laughs> Don't be a fool, oh. wrap your tool. And I mean, the governor is next. I'm covered in blood, I'm in turmoil. I don't know what to do. The governor's next and he is screaming with agony and yeah, yeah, blinded. Bloody deserve that. He's he's messed up. He is going to uh, wildly so attempt to grab at something around him. <laughs> so he's going to roll at disadvantage. It's going to be my hair, isn't uh, it? And one of those was a two, so I'm guessing that's not going to hit. Um, even with a plus nine. Oh. Does ten hit? Me? Yeah. Uh, no. He is wildly grasping around with his other hand, uh, the one that is still attached, and uh, completely misses you. Uh, next is your go. Uh, well, I suppose in for a penny, in for a pound on that front. Let's do what Derek does, as me old ma taught me. And chop um, his other hand off. Yeah, oh I'm going to use my hand axe and try and take his other hand off. I oh, thought we were man. pulling Balon's okay, roll to arms hit. off. <laughs> yeah, well, that didn't work, Keth. I've already had two goes. I'm pulling somebody's arms off. Keth, you made that very difficult for everyone. No one can see him. Okay, uh, is it? Is it just? Is it just an? Is it just a twenty? D twenty roll. Yeah, so D twenty with whatever your bonus is to hit. Uh, oh, hand axe is minus one. That's not great. Um, so yeah, I've got so a, that's not going to help. I've got a 14 total. His strength is weakness. <laughs> yeah, genuinely. Uh, 14 total. Yeah, yeah that hits. <laughs> Roll damage. Oh, come on, Jeff. Yes! Come on, Jeff! <laughs> 1d6 minus. minus 1 slashing. Uh, I'm what? not going to say... I'm probably not going to say that might uh, that might not take his hand off. Oh. Are you including your proficiency bonus? Oh, uh, okay. I can't... Yeah. Proficiency. Oh, right, okay. Never I have not Sorry. got a proficiency in the hand axe, so... Um, yeah, uh, so I, I rolled a six. If uh, that so helped, you do five, five damage five. to him. You you break his wrist, definitely. <laughs> you, you but he's him. very much still attacked. Best That's best we could He can't use it, though, can he? <laughs> no. He can't use it's, it, though, can he? He can't, you can't move a broken wrist. You've inflicted a bit more than a contusion. Yeah, but he can't, he can't grab the staff and use it, can he? He's got one stump and one floppy hand. <laughs> right, sound lads. Lads, governor's fucked. Oh, God. We're sound. Stand fast, you swabs. Tis I, James, your scurvy dungeon master for our maritime adventures podcast. <laughs> um, okay, that'll do with the pirate stuff this time round. This is a quick pause for some breath, for some swifty shout outs and thank yous. And then we'll plunge dive back into the episode. Firstly, from all of us here, we just want to say a ginormous thank you for choosing to listen to Roll Britannia. We've seen just how many D&D podcasts there are out there to listen to. So the fact that you've rolled the dice and adventured with us means absolutely everything. We have a few personal messages for a couple of our fantastic listeners out there. Firstly, to Robbie Short, who tweeted us, we're so glad that you're loving the Cranberry Files arc. 
It's coming to an end soon, but thank you so much for listening. There are more twists to come, and then a whole new arc as well. Very exciting stuff. We'd also like to mention Flint Fireforge, uh, who also contacted us on our Twitter page. We love that video you posted of you painting while listening to our adventures. We'd love to see what you'd come up with if you painted versions of our heroes. Mm, give it some thought. Good news, land lovers, though. We have a Discord server. Yes, we do, and you can find it. And as always... You can always reach out to us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the usual places. All the links are in our bio. And we really appreciate it when you do get in touch because, well, it just makes us feel good. You can ask us questions, give us some tips some pointers. And if you're really, really lucky, I might use your name for my next NPC. Yeah, I know. Big prizes here. We absolutely love making this show. And we're so, so glad that there are so many of you out there that love it too. So... Why not tell your friends? Give us a fantastic review, eh? Yeah. So wherever you cast your pods from, whether it be Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon, tune in wherever it is, anywhere else, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, you scurvy lot, we need your help. To be more precise, we need your vote. You see, the Buzzsprout Podcast Awards are coming up, and it would be amazing if you could help us win the best new podcast or any one of the categories. I mean... I'm not convinced we've got a chance of getting the sporting one, but maybe one of the other ones as well. Every one of your votes counts. So if you have a second after the podcast, after you've listened to this episode, just follow the links that will be literally all over our Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, any social feed. Please, please help us win what we think is a well-deserved award. Hmm. Otherwise, Derek will probably try and steal it anyway, so... hmm. But that's enough from me. It's time to recharge our flintlocks and blast back into the action. Very quickly, let's jump back over to Maurus. Maurus, you're in this uh, cell. You've handed Z the phase time, and she's been tinkering away with the uh, broken parts to her old phase time to attempt to boost the signal, and eventually... She, she sits up and she says, I think I have it. I think I have it. She opens it up and she says, Yennefer. And the pair of you see staticky and unclear, but unmistakably Yennefer's face. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> For the viewers at home, that's how Paul Best answers line. all of his phone calls. After the entire podcast of Maurice's character... <laughs> That's how you respond. He's been playing Candy Amazing. Crush for 20 minutes. He's out of it. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> this is a point where we're going to see the Dungeon Master talk to himself now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to go, I'm, I'm going to go, Yennefer, Yennefer, look, and I'm going to turn the phase time towards Z. Punch and Judy, punch and Judy. <laughs> Z? Yen? <laughs> Fuck me. Z? Yen? <laughs> I'm gonna to have to do some stereoscoping here in the edit. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait! Yeah, God, you got you. Okay, for Alex's benefit, you're gonna to have to. I'm gonna to... start this. Go on. Now he's back. So we've got we've got Yennefer oh, chatting on the FaceTime to Z. <laughs> My dreams have come true. Z? <laughs> Yen? Is that really you? Yes. <laughs> this is cringe, isn't it? <laughs> Where are you? Sorry, I will fix yeah, it in post. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I probably will. I'm videoing this. Show me the room. I'm getting you out of there now. And so she says, turn the camera around. Turn the camera around. Show the cell. And as you do that, a portal appears in the wall. And you hear Yennefer's voice say, <sighs> go now, I can't hold it for long. On this one occasion, I will jump through a portal. <laughs> he said begrudging I am not yeah, and saying, Z yeah. Man, you've not jumped you through any through other the portals ones. and Z you comes with you and volunteered to fall through them for a moment there is darkness and then Maurus odds are evens even you fall from the ceiling and <laughs> land on the floor fuck's sake <laughs> I like the odds and evens element yeah, that's good, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh if you'd said odds, it would have been a nice opening in a wall and you would have just stepped through, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. naturally. And you find yourself 
well, in a very familiar place, a place that uh, you wanted to go back to earlier, in fact. You find yourself in Quat's cottage, mm. and you see the giant turtle there, and he says... A cottage. Hey, little man. Thanks for <laughs> dropping in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me recover from that. The kettle's on. <laughs> Do you oh, want to We could have a three-way it? punch in Judy right now. I hear your friends are dying. Malrus, if you play your cards right, you could have Quat talking to Yennefer, talking to Z, and James is going to be <laughs> oh, doing God, some yeah. serious I absolutely will not. Uh, so, Malrus, you're, uh, you're happy, and you've got yourself to Quat's, and he's offering you tea and biscuits and light refreshments and those little... Um, uh, Tonic's tea cakes that uh, everyone seems to enjoy, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm glad he's having a good time. Yeah, I feel I do feel <laughs> quite bad that I'm having tea and cake. Products placement. Jennifer and Z have pretty much been embracing solidly since you arrived. I mean, please sponsor. Quat has had the time to boil and brew and pour a cup of tea, and they've pretty much just been stood almost stationary in the middle of his cottage. It's getting a little bit awkward, but you feel you, you feel nice and refreshed. Uh, please, and I. Cannot stress this enough. Please do not send in fan art. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Malrus the gooseberry. You spend the next sort of 10 minutes there being <laughs> effectively a gooseberry, yes. And we'll jump back over to the guys who are dying. And... <laughs> Still haven't managed to achieve what I wanted to do. <laughs> Malrus is having a tea party and we're oh, getting man. mullered in the corner oh, in the governor's office. We've gone mad. Chopping arms off people. Oh no, we're so worried about Maros. He got dropped through a portal. Oh, I hope he's okay. Mmm, this is delicious, Quad. Don't suppose you have an, a digestive, oh, do he's, you? He's waiting for the tea. Did you know the brew? hobnobs are actually the chocolate? Well, the hobnob, the chocolate's on the bottom, not the top. Oh, who knew? <laughs> Don't drink it yet. Mm. Don't drink it yet. But really slowly in Quad's voice, <laughs> did you know? <laughs> oh, <Hobnobs. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and um, chocolate. I think, James, any, any information you need to give us by quat, you should just speak. I will do. Yeah. It takes it a lot. Takes a lot of time. Doesn't it? <laughs> so <laughs> just slow it down to fifty. Back over in uh, Pound Town. Um, it's. I thought we just never mind. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, I think it's. We found our band name. Pound Town is not the cottage. I'm happy with the name Pound Town. I think that works. It's relevant. <laughs> uh, Bill Snakespear's turn, I think. Bill Snakespear is going to. Bill Snakespear. Bill, 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 because we've lost our minds. The blind, headless <laughs> governor with a broken <laughs> wrist. Roll to hit then. Almost armless. Spraying blood and everywhere. now you're going to buy him. This with all started with Derek still? saying, don't kill the governor. So we've just brutally maimed him. We've blinded, taken his hands off. Now I we're going to poison him. I gave him a choice. I did give him a choice. You did give him a choice. Is it with advantage? Please poison the governor. <laughs> it is with, um, yes, it was because the governor's not going to dodge. He can't see the snake coming. <laughs> Excellent, okay. Yes! Oh, oh, God. Hey, he won't get fooled again. <laughs> Maybe he will. <laughs> Five or an eight. Which one would no, you like? No, neither of those. Not with those oh. shades. <laughs> They're both going to miss. Have you left oh, him in the same God. bag with all that wine? Oh, God. Terrible. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> He's just, been, he's just been in the backpack, just... <laughs> Guess thousands of pounds worth of wine is now empty. You have no money's worth of wine left, but yeah, four empty, empty bottles. bottles. Keth, you'll go. As uh, Bill Snakespear goes flying past the governor again and drifts lazily off into the, into the rafters again. <laughs> Banking lazily to the left. Again. He's, he's listing lazily to the left. Ah, that's the one I was looking for. Okay. Um, <laughs> choo -choo. I know some moves. Now it's my go again. Yep. And go. I haven't seen Derek in bits and pieces, so I need to just continue nope. trying to Technically, rip off. I'm still in one piece. He is, yes. It's just, just one very unconscious that piece. piece. Isn't, is, isn't working right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try again to rip off Balon's arm. Okay, roll to hit. <laughs> He's done the same thing each turn and it hasn't worked. I would like to say that while all this has been going on, um, you hear a very strange noise coming from the fog cloud. There's a noise that you've heard that sounds mechanical and big. 
Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. So what did you roll, Kath? A mechanical spot. <laughs> I got a five altogether. Oh. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Oh, well, that's fucked it. And Derek is unconscious. Yes. <laughs> and now... No, not me. I've got no health, surely. And now... Please, I like my character. There is a new noise. I the sound of fans. Yennefer and Malibu. And the fog begins to style. clear. And where Balon Parktree was standing, there is instead something much, much worse. There is a huge mechanical being. And as you, as the fog clears, you see it still growing and bits of mechanical machinery and metal are slotting into place. And the image I want you to picture is the Hulkbuster version Ooh, of Iron Man. Oh, that God. sort of scale of mechanical device. Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. Yeah. Go to sleep. Yeah, Jay, so you understand we were struggling with the current situation. Like, you didn't need to up the ante here. We, this was already quite difficult for us. Um, and the sad thing is that the damage you'd done to, uh, you'd done to Balon seems to pale in insignificance now as this monstrosity of a mechanical machine uh, looms overhead and turns to Keth. And... Oh, here it comes. Swings his empty fist down in a sort of pendulum motion. Keth, you might want to roll better than that. <laughs> and... From now on. I'm going to be the only one left. <laughs> I'm so uh, stressed. I don't like it. Rolls a 22. I'm going to be the only one left. Oh, to hit. God. Yes. That breaks through my armor. Yeah, that, that's, that's going to do it, yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's... D10. And tickles him. Um, <laughs> that's not nice. Mm. I am the f- nice I'm the thing. snack at the end of this meal. Oh, stop rolling dice. <laughs> you don't have to roll multiple dice, James, if you don't want to. Yeah, you can stop. And rolls a want. 20 damage as he fires you across the room and you hit the, the wall on the far side of the room. And oh, that God. does it for Keth. Because I was on 17. Oh, shit. oh no. Oh, that's... I don't know what's going to add it. <laughs> Jeff, you hear the sound of bones breaking and blood begins to ooze from Keth and uh, he'll have to be rolling some death saves oh, next turn. God. Mm. I've never had to do that before. Uh, right. So, for the listener, uh, when you roll a death save, you roll a d20 with no modifier. <laughs> uh, if the number comes up underneath a 10, that's one fail. If the number comes up over a 10, that's one success. Uh, if you get three successes, uh, you will come back to one HP. Uh, if you get three failures, you die. Uh, if you get a natural 20, that counts as two successes, and a natural one counts as two fails. The more you know. Um- <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge is power. <laughs> Gee, is just like slowly muttering this incoherent nonsense as he's knocked out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. And oh. the governor, um, staggering around behind his desk, <laughs> is he bleeded out? Screams or out, and he says um, he's bleeding all over the place. And he screams out, and he says, uh, "Balon, I did my best. Save me!" And Balon looks at him Kill him. and do it. He can see him. Do it. Balon looks at him in his new big beastly form, raises his other fist and blasts him with a gigantic power eldritch blast that knocks the governor back over his desk and the governor ceases to move. I'm so glad I ducked behind the desk. Uh, what happens crap. to the uh, shades of Horatio Kane? <laughs> oh, let's find out. Yes. Oh, no. They're fine. <laughs> oh, thank Christ. Oh, thank God. They're fine. They're just on the floor. Just above the smoking carcass of the I was governor. say, you can't take a man's badge <laughs> and his glasses. Jeff, as you stand up, 
Well, as, as it's your turn, this Eldridge Blast has destroyed a fair bit of the furnishings in the room that the governor has been fired into, and debris is landing all around you. Um, yeah. And it's your turn now, and as you're from where you're standing, just, well, crouching behind the desk, something lands at your feet and knocks against you. Something round, something shiny. Something... Something you recognise. I... Is it money? Okay, um, I've still got my marigold on. I'm going to reach down and... What is it? Grab whatever it is in my marigold. Captain America's shield? And pick it up. And what do I see? Is it... It has right, what, what have I got in my some hand? strange markings on it. And as you're looking into it, your mind races and the world around you vanishes and you see a street you know very well and you're running through it and you smell the smell of burnt wood and timber and ashes. And as you're running through the streets, you look up and you see something that isn't there that should be something that you have a real emotional connection to and and you realize and you remember that this was your home <gasps> what so i'm walking through my home am i right in thinking that i have ash underneath my feet dungeon master you do yes okay um if I've got ash underneath my feet, then at this point in time, I would like to look around. I know when this is. What do and I you're see? looking around, and you see something shiny beneath you, and something strangely familiar. It's a photograph. I reach down, and I'm going to pick up my. Uh, I'm going to pick up the photograph and have a look at the photograph. What do I see? It's a photograph of three people. Three happy, happy people, smiling and laughing. It's a photograph of you and two others. There's a woman, and she's smiling and laughing. And there's a child, and there's a man, and it stirs up such memories. Oh, it was so simple back then. It was just easier. And then you notice something else. Something giving off a light almost. It's it's luminescence. It's I'm gonna reach down and pick it up. And you feel this same surge of energy. And you hear you almost hear a voice reaching out to you from you know not where. And it speaks to you and it says Now we have each other. And then You hear another voice, a very real voice. You hear a man yelling, shouting, and a crowd growing. You hear them shouting, magic, he's using magic. Someone call the guards. And then you hear the sound of guards running and bells ringing. And then you too are running. No, oh no. No, and I'm you're gonna... running, and you're running. I need to escape. Um, I, I know the streets well. I remember them. Um, I was playing with them when I was younger. I can't, I can't, I can't get away. I, I'm struggling to run. My feet, my feet are getting caught. And you catch sight of yourself as you duck down an alleyway. You, you hide, and you hear the guards run past, and you see your reflection in the window of a shop opposite. But something's not right. It's definitely you, you can tell that it's you, but as you look closer, something that shouldn't be is. And you realize that what you're seeing is not you, the blacksmith, the 55 year old family man, the owner of property, this center of culture in your little town, the big man. 
the one everyone comes to on those rainy nights. No, you see yourself, but you see yourself 40 more years early. You see a 15-year-old version of you staring back. I... I need to get away. I need to get out of the city. This is... This is why my parents went. I can't be involved with magic. I can't... I can't... It's not... It's not allowed. I need to run. I need to get out of the city. I've heard of a tavern. And you run down this alleyway that you're in, past the shops and off towards the docks. And then that same sensation of transportation that you had moments ago returns and you fly back and you are in the room once more. And you see around you, you see Keth bleeding and broken in the corner. You see Derek unconscious. You see Malrus gone. Nowhere, no one knows where he is. You do not know. You see the governor broken in the corner. You see all this death and destruction. And you feel surges of anger and power. And you feel the fire around you starting to grow. And you feel this energy sweeping through your body. What are you? I'm moving the... I'm going to move the the stone, the, the orb that I have in my pink marigold into my other hand. Into my ungloved hand. And use any sort of magical surges around me to my advantage and I suppose well it, depending on if I need to roll anything it might go badly but I'm gonna I want to burn the fuckers down um, to be short so can I attack every bad guy in the room so just to just burn the governor and ruin Balon just I, I want to burn the heart right out of them you feel this energy build inside you, and as the fire around you grows, you feel pain across your face. But it's not really there. You can feel, it feels distant, it feels disconnected, and you realize that this fire has grown so much that the roof itself is starting to fall, and you feel it burn across your face and blind you in one eye. But you're disconnected oh from this pain. It's real, but not real at the same time. And this energy grows inside you. You see again the people around you that you care about, the ones that are missing. And Balon, the new, larger, more powerful Balon, simply turns his mechanical head and says, Ha! 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 Now you will die! Ha! <laughs> and then an explosion. An explosion of fire and energy erupts from your body, filling the room and sculpting itself around you and your compatriots. An explosion so large it blows a wall clean out the side of this fort. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't. I just wanted to protect you guys. I didn't mean to kill everyone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to use magic. Well, maroon me on a tropical island and call me Kitty. It looked like that was about to turn shitty. But Jeff, the young boy, was more than he seemed. And Balon and the governor, well, they got creamed. One young Jeff had himself a blast from the past that turned out big enough to topple a mast. Still Kath lays dying, and Derek how cold. And Maurus? Well, a napkin he did fold. But are they saved or will Jeff get scarier? Find out next time on Roll Britannia. Podcast Network.
Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.